Hey, what is going on everybody, and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7. Now today, got some more RTA for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump in and see where we end up, because my points have not really changed at all. Okay, this is a fast matchup here. So let's see what happens. Uh, continuously banning the Bellion and the Politus. And my opponent also bans Politus, but also bans Sid. Quite interesting. Uh, I don't know if my opponent's cleaving, and my C. Lilius and stuff are quite slow, so let's go ahead and pick an A-Roz. We can always pivot into an anti-cleave if my opponent goes for that. C. Lilius picked out. Dien picked out. Ooh. Okay. So who do I go for here? We can go Dilibet and DJB. Right? Let's go for that. Now, DJB is great here because, not only because he's another cleanser for the Sea Lilius, but we have the uh, barrier from Sea Lilius and the barrier from Dien, which, you know, DJB could uh, punish, which is quite nice. Okay, Closer Charles and Spectre Tenebria. Hmm. Okay, so Closer is an opener, very likely, and Spectre being picked out. I think we're going to see an Ida picked out here. But if we see Ida, how do we go about this? Uh, Spectre means I can't really go for Armin. Spectre's a bit awkward, isn't it? Spectre's a bit awkward to fight. Okay, we're going to need, uh, let's go for Meru. All right, and then let's go for... let's actually go for Ed. Now, he can go for his Ida pick, and I think we're still fine. Oh, he's going for Rylet! Whoa! I did not expect that. Um... are we okay here? Oh, Rimuru would have been a fantastic pick as well. Shoot. I should have considered that with Dien and Closer, but I think we banned the Rylet. Yeah, let's go ahead and ban the Rylet. Oh, DJB getting banned. Oh, spicy stuff. Okay. Now, what he could do here is he could potentially uh, control the Dilibet, like push her back so she can't cut. Alright, so S3 coming out. Dilibet will push up after this turn. So he's gonna provoke the Dilibet here, push her back. Yep, so even if she pushes up, she'll be behind everyone else. And I think he's gonna try to push up the um, Spectre. Now, Spectre isn't running. Uh, there's no souls on this. Okay. Counter, counter again. Oh, we silenced the Spectre for two turns. Did not strip the attack buff, though, unfortunately. Alright, Spectre gets pushed up. That's okay. Let's go for uh, let's go for an S3 onto the C Lilius here. I don't want to miss uh, on the closure Charles, so let's go for that. Okay, now if he hits Ed, we can still counter. That's the thing. Hopefully he hits Ed, <laughs> and we get to counter. Uh, okay, S3 coming out probably hits Meru. No, hits Dilibet. Okay. So we lose a turn because of that. But, we can either go for defense buff or we can go for a dual attack. I think... I think we go for a defense buff. Yeah, let's go for a defense buff here. Alright, tank up a little bit. Dilibet with defense buff also deals more damage. I'm gonna hit the Dilibet. He does not want my Dilibet to be taking turns. We will be cutting soon, so let me go for an S3. Now... If we proc magic for friends... Be, oh wait, no, we already did, but this is fine. We'll still have an attack buff for if Meru counters. Right, Dien going. Which is fine. Uh, I think we just ignore the closer for now. We'll go for C. Lilius. He's gonna hit the Dilibet. Okay, and Dilibet gets to go. I think he's going for Dilibet because she is the only AoE I have into Stene, but... Ed can also hit Stene. Right, quite hard as well. 
Alright, let's go and finish off the sea lilies. Kuchiru pushing up, very nice. And now Stene is looking quite low. Oh, should not have hit the Meru or counter! And we get pushed up, so we're gonna finish off, I think, the Meru, or the Stene here. Because we get to hit twice. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Did not work out well for him at all. So there you have it. Tanky units, Ed and Dilibet hanging in there with Roz. Um, quite nice, quite nice. Now we didn't get to showcase Stene hitting Ed with the S1, because Ed does actually counter. It's not, it's not considered a counter attack, it's an extra attack, which is why it happens. It's kind of like Meru's Magic for Friends, it's considered an extra attack, it's not a counter attack. So, but yeah, that, that attack on uh, Meru was probably not the play. I don't know if he, I don't know if my Meru countered earlier that match, but with a slower Meru like mine, it's not even 200 speed, um, that is something you need to consider, right? That it could potentially be counter. Alright, let's see what happens with this. My opponent has a DN avatar. Probably not banning DN then. Mmm. Dilba and Hua Young pre banned. Alright. Oh no, that is not a. Sorry, uh, I, I saw it during the ban phase, but this is a Tamarin profile. Quite nice to see. Alright, A Ravi being picked means let's go DN and let's go A Raz. These two are very solid into A Ravi, almost always. Ayola being picked is a very common pick into DN. Rimuru as well. Okay, so with Rimuru and Ayola. We're starting to see, this is a very common line of play into DN Aeroz. Um, how do I go about this? How do I go about this? We don't go Alencia, I don't believe. A, uh, Aeravi, Aeola, and Rimuru, huh? Do we go, oh no, he banned Dilibet, I see. I see. Very interesting. Okay, so I think we could go for Spectre Tenebria. Quite, quite a safe pick, right? Quite a safe pick here. And... Here, let's go for... Let's go for Roy. Because we can soul burn ourselves out of a silence with Aeola. I know we get unbuffable with Aeola, but this might be okay. We'll see how it plays out. Sea Lilius, alright. I can see a Sea Lilius coming in here. Ooh, Lionheart's a little weird though. Okay, Shu I can I can understand. Shu's pretty good into my team right now. Shu is pretty good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick Alencia and we're gonna ban the Aeola. Yeah, we're gonna pick Alencia and ban Aeola, unless this is a really strong pick here. Uh, Landy, I don't know. Landy is fine. Let's go Alencia and let's pre let's ban Aeola, right? So that way we don't need to have two cleansers. DN is fine. If he bans DN, that's I'm still okay. Uh, we have Alencia, which kind of dumps on most of these units. Yeah, he kind of had to ban that. Alencia dumpstered on a lot of these. Um, Roy should be okay. I just need to watch out for potential shoe counters, right? And Stene should be able to handle shoe. All right, cool. That's a good turn order. So I don't, um, I don't go ahead and buff here, right? I don't buff. I just go for. I think I just go for an S two. No, I don't even go for S two. Let's not give Rimuru more than he. Uh, he needs, right? Yeah, so let's go for the hit on Rimuru. Do I soul burn this? I think so. I don't need Stene's soul burn. Yeah, let's go for the Rimuru. And Roy's gonna hit. Now, proof Rimuru is fine. 
He's gonna hit the Roz, and he might go ahead and try to nuke the Roy. But I think... I think we'll be okay, because it might trigger A-Roz's barrier. Roy only has 8k HP. It doesn't take that much to trigger the barrier there. So as long as he deals around, like, 2,000-something damage to Roy... Oh no, he's going for DN! Interesting. Not what I expected. Okay. Let's go for this. S1 into the Rimuru. This time we actually penetrate defense, and... Now we get to go for a S3. So let's attack buff S3. Landy is going to take reduced damage, 50%, because of her stealth. Guiding Light. Okay. Nice, nice. We don't have any unbuffables or anything like that going on for our team. He could slam a Ravi into the DN, which is fine. I guess DN did her job as a little bait unit for the rest of the team. Rimu gets to come back, which is, again, alright, because he's not going to deal to- Oh, But if that dual attack makes the- and breaks the difference between a Ravi and Living, I'm going to be pretty upset. Um... That is a little upsetting. <clears throat> Alright, Landy doesn't have full burst, so Stene should be able to live here. Should be. Should be. Okay. <laughs> should be able to live here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit... Oh boy, he's gonna lap me, isn't he? Because now his whole team has a speed buff. This is not looking too good, and we didn't proc any Roy Barrier. Oh, Roy's gonna go down here to Shu. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Now he can he can go ahead and hit. Uh, he should hit Roy. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's not looking too good, because Landy still gets to go, and we're gonna be pretty vulnerable with with our Spectre. So we're gonna need the life steal here. We're gonna need to hit Landy. Can we hit Landy? Oh, we did not hit Landy. And we didn't even crit much. Wow, we didn't heal much with lifesteal. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I don't think we can do this. There's no way we can do this. I just want to see if we live this, though. Oh, no, of course. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Smile gates like, no, no, no. No, no, no. Dual attacks. Now, did dual attacks matter overall there? Not really. They're just rubbing salt in my wounds there. Um, the Rimuru Revive dual attack with a Ravi, I don't think mattered that much. Maybe it would have mattered here. Maybe, because Stene could have lived another turn. Now, can Stene solo those three units? No. Um, but then again, you never know, right? Get some lucky crits here and there. And as Frenzy goes up, we can potentially lifesteal our way to a cheese. But we'll never find out, because we got dual attacked into Oblivion. Okay, so let's go ahead and ban these two. Dien and Hua Young. Alright. Let's go for... Do we go Roz here? Or do we go for C. Lilius? Yeah, let's go C. Lilius, actually. Let's switch things up a little. See, Lilius, we're going on the off offensive. ML Calric coming out defensively as a cleanser. A Ravi, as always expected. Uh, let us go for. Um, let's go for A Roz. And what do we do into an A Ravi? We can go. Let's go Amelia. I think we go Amelia here. So we have an attack buffer, a vigor buffer, and I could potentially go LQC, or I can go Stene. We're going to save these two power picks for the last uh, pick here. Troublemaker Crozet. Okay, he's tanking up quite a bit. Rimuru. Alright. So we'll definitely take this on. I can fight the first four. Let's go LQC, and let's go Spectre Tenebria. There we go. So two very hard DPS carries. Rimuru is the only real threat so far, I'd say. He doesn't have enough damage with A-Ravi, I don't think, to go through Vigor, Defense buff, and Amelia's heals and barriers. DM being banned is kind of a pain, because we don't have access to anti-crit. 
and a team-wide attack buff, but we still have Amelia. They need to pick a unit that's good into all this, which is kind of difficult. DJB... Uh, DJB is fine. I think we just go for this. Yeah, I think we ban the Rimuru. Mm-hmm. Okay, LQC banned. So who do I put in the back? Maybe we don't put anyone in the back, because DJB's there, right? Let's put Steny in the back. I don't want DJB's barrier. Uh, I don't want Aeros's barrier to proc, and then DJB uh, ends up killing them with an S2. He can always hold on to that until he uh, procs the Amelia, right, for example? Okay, let us go for this then. He's tanking up with a solo Aerobi, we're going with the solo Stene. So it's a 1v1 DPS slugfest. Uh, let us just go for... Let's go for the ML Coward. DJB has a 30% damage reduction, crit damage reduction, when he is... Uh... Oh, you know what? Let's go for a defense buff. When he is... Uh, still has his S3. So we're just gonna hold on to this. Go for that, okay. DJB going to push up the team, immunity buff. I wonder if Calric's gonna go in S3 here for the attack buff. Or is he gonna go strip a uh, defense buff off of a unit? Okay, stripping defense buff off the a -Roz. Ooh, spicy. And he's gonna focus down the a -Roz. Okay. So now he can push up the team. No, he's not going to. Just gonna go for an S1, saving that, I guess. We'll go for a push on the Spectre. Now we have attack buff. Alright, let's go for an S3 on the Calric. Oh, that's good damage, good damage. So next turn, I think we'll be alright. The S1 there. Okay, we're gonna pop this to cleanse, heal, barrier. And then what we'll do is we can next turn push up Stene yet again. We're just gonna... We're not even gonna use the, uh... See Lilius' skill. We're just gonna keep soul burning Aeroz. Hopefully we defense break. No defense break! You resisted! Okay. I don't really know many Calrics that build resist anymore. I doubt this one is a resist Calric. My Aeroz also has about 100 effectiveness, so <laughs> if it was a resist, you know, you wouldn't have that much resist on him. Alright, DJB could go for an S2 coming up to deal some barrier damage. Alright, I think Calric has S2 again. Oh no, he doesn't. He's just gonna push up the team. Uh, let me go for the Calric pick. We're gonna pick off his support units here. Now DJB can S2. We're still, uh, we still have immunity, so we're fine. Right, we are fine. Give me Amelia, that's okay. Uh, let us go for a push on the Spectre again. Okay. We can we can now S2, but I don't think we do. I think we just go for damage. We just continuously pump damage, right? Amelia healing herself is quite nice. Let's go for damage here. Very nice. Okay, getting rid of DJB. Now, if Sten or yeah, if he goes for the Amelia, we can revive one of those two units. DJB gets revived, which is great. Because he's not too good right now. Now, Troublemaker Crozet actually has not gone for his S3 yet. We gotta keep that in mind. He has a cleanse, a push, and a uh, defense and anti-crit buff available to him. And we, we lost our Amelia for our turn cycling for Stenny. Alright. Let me go for a Soulburn push on play on this. Nice, we hit Trozet. I really want to hit Trozet here. I want to DPS him down. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. A Ravi without S3 is way less intimidating. It's gonna S Soulburn S1 is still gonna hit like a truck. Okay. So, let's go for a little barrier on the Raz. And do we go for the S2? 
Not right now. Let's see if we can live. Because we get Vigor buff here. And hopefully we bring Stene. I would love to bring Stene here. Nice. Oh, very nice. Okay. Trozette gets to go, and he's probably gonna go ahead and buff the Ravi. Oh no, he already buffed Ravi. My bad. Okay, let's go for S3. Do we S3 the Ravi, actually? Can we stun the Ravi? Yeah, let's try that. Because if he cleanses, he'll cleanse the attack down, right? Okay, there we go. Nice stun. Aroz lives to see another day. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and defense buff the team. And we're gonna heal Aroz just a little bit. So we have defense and vigor buff. Oh, we got stunned. Oh, that kind of sucks. We can't use our S2. I think we live to see another turn. We should outspeed the Aravi. But Vigor here, dealing some damage. Trozette going down. Can we actually do this? Provoke? Barrier? It's gonna hit the Aroz. We need to defense break here. I'm not gonna soul burn, because if I defense break, we win. Oh, we defense broke. Oh, and that's beautiful. So, there you go, squeezing victory out by the skin of our teeth. Aroz coming in. Clutch. Finally landed defense break, right? These people resisting my Aroz defense breaks left and right. Okay, so between the two, Spectre Tenebria comes out on top as the solo DPS queen. Step aside, Aravi. <laughs> Okay, well, let's continue, and we'll see. I think we played three matches so far. I think we're two and one. Two wins, one loss. Um, yeah. We'll see. Climbing through the points, climbing through the ranks, ever so slowly. Katsu, ooh. Katsu sounds really nice right now. Kind of hungry. So let's ban these two. Alright, Rom banned. Aeola banned. Oh, thank God Aeola's banned. She's such a pain to deal with. Not a fan of her at all. Okay, why unpicked is fine. Uh, I think we go for... Do we go for the Amelia or do we go for the DN? I feel like we should probably go Aeroz DN. <clears throat> so let's go for the DN pick. Let's not go for Amelia. Now, if my opponent goes Amelia, we can always ban Hua Young. I, I think I prefer Dien's protections. Things are a little too close without Dien. Alright. See Lilius picked out makes this quite easy. We go Dilibet here. Double cleanser. Uh, it usually works out quite well. Dilibet with Dien. One's gonna cleanse the other. Yeah, let's go for Dilibet here. Now, Straze picked out is quite interesting. Because... Um... Can we go for anyone that's fast? Who's a fast DPS? We did Dilibet, because Dilibet can cut. Who's a fast DPS that I own that can take down Straze? Oh, we go Kisei here, right? Kisei is fantastic here. Yeah, we can snipe Straze. We can go for a uh, reset on the um, Hua Young. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Flitica being picked out, I'm not too worried about. Ooh. Pavel, huh? Pavel being picked. Now that's something I worry a little bit more about. Who's good into this? Do we go T-Surin? Yeah, let's go Tempest Surin. Who do we ban? We have to ban Hua Young if we go for that, right? Or do we? Or do we? I think we ban Flitica. Honestly, I think we ban Flitica. Yeah. We ban Flitica here. Dilibet getting banned. Okay. Who do we protect in the back? Who's gonna get hurt? If they kick T Surin, then Aroz can at least uh, barrier her up, right? So we won't die to the splash damage. Okay, let's go for that. Great, so... 
see Lilius goes. If she controls my um, DN, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. The t Surin does cut. He's going to go for the t Surin. Okay. She gets a barrier, and we get to... Oh, wow, we get pushed up. We have an attack buff. Let's go for it. Please? There we go. Finish off the Straze. Quite nice. Let's go for the uh, pick on... Let's go for the pick on this Hua Young. There we go. Reset her. Let's cleanse and push, and then we'll use our A-Raz to go in for the kill on the Pavel, I believe. Yeah, let's go on the Pavel here. There we go. So, Wind Rider Kise is going to win this Hua Young no matter what, right? So there you have it. We got it. Managed to pull through. Okay. Nice. Good job, T-Surin. Secret R Sword Storm is such a great artifact on her. Love the tech. Love it. Okay, we'll do one more fight, and then I'm probably going to call it a day. Let's see. <laughs> We've been doing quite well. I think I've been focusing more on just playing rather than focusing on trying to showcase a unit like I have been in the past couple months with all the new unit releases, the collab, and all this other stuff. So now we're just kind of playing. Oh my gosh, we're going up against Abandoned, which <laughs> is one of the top guilds in Global. Great. Uh, we have Sea Lilies and Hua Young Band. Very nice. Love it. This is my kind of gameplay. So we'll go for A Raz and then we'll pick DN. <clears throat> so let's see what they go for here. My DN's quite fast, so we're still okay if, if they try to go for a cleave. They're not cleaving. Uh, Alencia and El Karik. This looks like a Roy game for sure. But, I don't want to pick Roy until later. So how do I bluff my way through this? Alencia being picked... How do I bluff my way through this? Uh, is Rimuru good here? Huh, Rimuru might be fun. Ooh, Landy might be fun too. Yeah, Landy's fun. Rimuru's fun. Let's pick Landy. Do we go Spectre Tenebria? Maybe. Yeah, what if we go Spectre Tenebria here? Yeah, Landy and Spectre Tenebria. I want to use Roy. Don't you dare pick Roy. I see you hovering over the fire units there. Oh, Fire Ravi. Heck yeah. Go for it. This is pre buff, by the way. Um, Ravi hasn't gotten her buff yet. Oh, Senya. Alright. Senya. And Armin! Okay, so this is definitely a Roy match, if I've ever seen one. And who do we ban? Armin doesn't matter, because she doesn't really counter. I think we ban the Senya. Yeah, I think we ban Senya and we're fine. Okay, and Roy's gonna get banned? Kind of expected, not gonna lie. Kind of expected. So we'll go for this. I think we're fine. Yeah, we'll go for this. We'll go for this. Protect Landy in the back. Probably should also probably should protect DN, I don't know. But let's go for it. Right, attack buff on everybody. We're gonna push up the Spectre. I'm gonna try to get rid of the uh, We're gonna try to get rid of this Alencia really early, so let's go for it. No defense break! Resist! Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, and Landy gets hit out of stealth and stunned. So that's fantastic. RNG looking our way. Okay, he's gonna cleanse. Okay. A Ravi's gonna probably finish off Landy here, unless anti crit kicks in. Oh no, he's gonna go for Roz. Wow, look at the Lencia dual attack. Right, we're gonna finish off the Alencia. Let's go for it. There we go. And now S3. Please don't. Don't you dare, Elbris, on my one non counterable skill. Okay, oh, wow. 
<laughs> Tell me Smallgate doesn't play favorites. Alright, why does my Armin not do that, right? My Armin does counter quite often, but I'm, I'm up against Cleavers with AoEs, right? Look at this. Now he can S2 my Landy. Oh, he's gonna S2 my Roz. Why? Alright, well Landy, let's go. Another S3. I think he's trying to finish off my Roz. Now we're gonna heal and defense buff. Now this might proc the Armin, which is fine. Okay, no proc on the Armin. Great, let's hit Calric. Don't Elbrus me. Okay, very nice. I think we're doing okay. Landy's back in Guiding Light. We have defense buff on a Roz. We're going to finish off the uh, ML Calric because he is the most annoying unit on the opponent's team right now. Right, I think he, yeah, okay, he has two turns until he has anything. Armin can go for S3 to defense buff and barrier, or... Okay, so it's gonna, uh, they're gonna soul burn the S3 here. Uh, interesting. It just gives a ton of buffs for Landy now. Oh, we get a nice dual attack. Oh, we're getting a little lucky. Okay. I think we just go for it. Raz should be able to live. Oh, another Elbrus! Wow, look at that! But at least we gave uh, immunity to Landy, right? So let's go ahead and, and boost up the team right here. Hopefully Dien has enough uh, turn cycling to an S3 here. Because I'm probably going to need it. Yeah, I do! Uh, I think I go for the S3, just for the anti-crit. I hope Dien does not go down, but she might. This at least gives me a chance, a fighting chance. Okay, so he's gonna go and rip the S3, probably hit the A-Roz. Oh no, going for the DN. See, look, that gives me a fighting chance, right? The anti-crit mattered. If I went for a barrier, just strictly for the heals and the and the bulk, it might not have turned out as well. Give me a defense break. Nice. Okay, finished off that. So now it's just Armin versus us, and he could still win. Armin can still win. But, hopefully, Stene takes a turn and Landy doesn't keep laughing. <laughs> because if Landy keeps laughing, we're gonna die. Oh, it is just, it's just uh, Armin versus uh, Stene. Oh, wow, and he almost got me there. Alright, well, we're gonna just pop the S3. And, oh, there we have it. Finished things off. Lifesteal Spectre Tenebria coming in clutch once again. There you guys have it. Against Abandoned, one of the top guilds out there. Uh, managing to snag a win. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.